I'm going to show you how to play the Tetravex logic puzzles, which are part of Ubuntu Linux. To start the puzzles, go to the Applications menu and down to Games. And then here's Logic Puzzles, and down at the bottom is Tetravex. Sometimes you'll see Tetravex just at the bottom of just the Games menu, down here. But here we have Logic Puzzles and Tetravex. I like to think of Tetravex as a jigsaw puzzle for numbers and colors. And if the object of the game is to move these pieces, we now have four pieces in this puzzle. We're going to move them over here to the left. And let's take a look at some, at some of the patterns we can maybe find. Do you see there's a five on the bottom here and there's no other matching five? So this five maybe comes here or maybe it comes here. But it can't go on top because there is no matching five to go underneath it. So let's put the five over here just for now. And let's see if there is maybe this eight maybe comes on top. And we have a matching three. Yep. Do you see how we're getting all the pieces fitting together? And then this, and there we have the end of the puzzle. And it tells you your time. That took us 49 seconds. Let's try a slightly harder puzzle. That was a two by two. Let's try a three by three and see how that goes. Um, let's uh, say maybe new game. And let's come over here from size of the puzzle to three by three. Here we go. Now this looks real interesting. This number two um, has no other matching number two. So we want to put it somewhere either in the top here, here, or here. And let's see, um, let's just try it over there. Uh, could we have a, a matching six underneath it? Yeah, we, we have one matching six. This could maybe go here. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, how about if we put uh, if we put this here, do we have a matching seven on the, yes, we could put this over here, we could maybe put that over there, and we could put this over here. That's a possibility. Then we maybe have the five over here. Do we have a six and a seven? No, we don't. We don't have a, a piece with the six on the top and the seven on the left. So maybe this wasn't a good idea. Maybe one of those pieces wasn't a good idea. Let's get a hint. Let's come over here to Game and choose Hint. Ah, it gave us a hint. And um, if we have a four on the top here, we have only have one other four, and it goes like so. So now we're making some real progress. Um, now we're looking for a piece with a six on the top and the three on the right. Uh, we don't have a piece like that. Let's get another hint. The hint might throw one of our pieces from the left back to the right. Yeah, it threw that threw that piece away. And since it did that, let's bring this piece away too. And let's put this over here. We're gonna, we know it has to go on the top someplace. And it doesn't go over here, so now we know it goes over here. And if that goes there, we want the two sevens, like so. And we want the 9 and 3. Do you see how fun this gets after a while? And now we want 3 and 1. It's either this 3 and 1 or this 3 and 1. Um, but I think it's going to be this 3 and 1. Because, oh, no, maybe it's not. Maybe it's this 3 and 1. Yeah, this 3 and 1 doesn't fit because we don't have a piece over here with a 6 pointing to the right. So this 3-in-1 doesn't work, and this 3-in-1 does work. Let's bring this over, and the last piece is right here. Wow, wasn't that fun? Now let's try one of the larger size puzzles. Let's go to size. Let's go all the way up to 5x5. Five five. Wow. Okay, now I am a pretty new Tetravex puzzle player, so I'm not going to try this without any hints. But how about if I came over here, how about if I even chose a couple of hints? One, and choose another hint. Do you see, it's, I can also type Control H. So if I hold down Control, I can go boom, 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 boom. Okay, and that might give me all I need to solve the puzzle. Because this piece over here is going to be easy. It's 4, 4, 6, 9. So now we look for 4, 4, 6, 9, this one right here. And this is 2, 3. And here we are, 2, 3. I don't think there's any other 2, 3s. We should look. 
No, I don't see any others, so this comes here. And then this is going to be 3, 5. So even somebody who's not a big puzzle player can play this game. We want 0, 4 with 6 on the bottom. And here we want 4, 7. Uh, let's find a 4, 4 on the top and 7 on the right. This is it right here. And here we want 6 on the top, 3 on the right. Um, you get to see 6 on the top, 3 on the right. Boom. I don't think there's any other ones. Sometimes there might be 2 with 6 on the top, 3 on the bottom. Uh, and then we have 4 on the top, 2 on the bottom. Let's see if there's... Oh, uh, let's see. Do we have one of those? Yeah. And let's get maybe a hint right now. Oh, uh, okay. And you can see, finishing the puzzle becomes not that hard, and it's quite a lot of fun. So we asked for a couple of hints here, and then each, as, as you play the puzzle more and more, you can maybe try one of these 5x5 five five puzzles, and instead of having six hints, you can try four hints, or three hints, or maybe zero hints. But Tetravax is so much fun. I've used it with young kids, uh, even before kindergarten. And I've used it with people in their late 80s, and they also loved it.